Hey there, so we are out in the vineyard today. It's mid-October, we are getting ready to harvest these Syrah grapes. But I get a lot of questions from people who come into Lake Chelan and see all of this netting over our vines. It's not something that you see in every region of the world, but it is something that's necessary here in the Lake Chelan Wine Valley. We only have about 300, a little more than that, acres of vines planted in this valley. And it's a big fruit production area. So the birds are naturally drawn here. So it's just one of those things about making wine in Lake Chelan. If we don't put up this netting to protect our grapes, we won't have any come harvest time. So that is what is the deal here. When you see this in another region, you know that they too are suffering from too many of those friendly creatures. But that's really all there is to it. Now the other thing that you guys always ask me about in terms of this is, how do we get it on the vines and how do we get it off the vines? And it is actually the coolest process. It spools out of this big bag that sits on a platform in the back of our tractor, very much like thread spools out of a sewing machine. So literally, the tractor is rolling down the rows, spooling over, and then when we come back after these grapes have been harvested, then we'll just spool it back into the bag and tuck those bags away until next August when we have to put this back on the vines. And typically, our plan for doing that is immediately following wing variation and that's the point at which the grapes go from being green and that's regardless of red or white grapes to being purple in the case of reds or changing to a more translucent grape in the terms of white grapes so that's the deal with what's up with bird netting and um, I hope that was educational and interesting and answered all your questions about why we have to deal with this stuff